difference. Here we've got the Dassel paper like colour. Um, <coughs> this is quite a, a, a mild English day. There's, you can see there's some um, reflection on the screen. That's just because this iPhone camera is boosting everything. Uh, in reality, it's it's fine. So I'm going to switch my my MacBook on now. Okay, so my MacBook screen has already come on. It takes a couple of seconds maybe for this screen to turn on. Um, <coughs> I find that it works best with um, these monitor settings. Display. by 900 high DPI so you've got these nice um, large fonts etc without that it's quite difficult to see um, I have my MacBook screen with a black background and mainly showing the desktop so it's not distracting next to it um, I use a program like this uh, so better snap tool to switch between the two so if i say click on this window and then in my case i hit the um, tilde key it switches from screen to screen so say when i see a video i'll always switch to my macbook screen or an image where i want to see it properly i'll switch to the macbook but most images you can actually make out what it is on the paper like, <coughs> excuse me. Um, also, uh, it's good to set up things like uh, window controls. So uh, I'll do this on a, on a better example. Yeah, so uh, let me just go up Reddit. So uh, to avoid scrolling uh, and moving windows, do things like set up a hotkey to move to the left of the screen, move to the right of the screen. Um, go full screen um, and then generally avoiding using the mouse so things like use keyboard control to do things like hiding uh, and toggling um, <coughs> and uh, scrolling is actually surprisingly okay on this so I think that's fine um, I'll show you the um, paper-like settings as well. So there's this little client that you can download. There it is. Let me just shut this stuff down. So um, I played with this quite a lot. I think that these are by far the best settings for my use cases. So contrast five, text mode, fast plus plus plus, which is not the fastest setting, but the second from fastest setting. So you, you're basically coming up with a compromise between um, speed uh, and ghosting. You can see there's a bit of ghosting on the screen here. I don't really mind it. It's I think of it as like um, newspaper print when it's gone over to the other page. Um, I don't really mind that effect. Um, now for um, reading text, I think this is brilliant. Uh, it's really comfortable. It's it's just like reading off paper. Um, this is in. Uh, I don't have any lights on at all now. Um, I've put a little um, monitor light over the top of it. So that's it with the monitor light. Um, it's better. Um, Colour ink screens love to be well lit. If they're um, dimly lit um, it feels very low contrast um, I'll just give you a taste of that so I'll turn off this light and I'll shut the curtain yeah so although um, 
that doesn't actually look too bad through an iPhone screen that's really bright. Um, it's not usable in reality. So I'll open that again. Um, uh, one thing that I would say about this <coughs> is that <coughs> it isn't as good as um, say using a dedicated colour ink device like a um, tab ultra colour from, from Books. Um, it, it, you're not using an optimised e-ink OS so uh, I don't think it can really be expected to be as good. So for instance if you're say looking at images Okay, these um, look like very low res um, graphics from an 80s computer. Okay, like on my MacBook, these just look like regular, very high res photos and illustrations. Um, what else? Oh, I, mean, I haven't even tried to watch a video on this, it'll be terrible. But just in case anybody feels the need to uh, try it. Three point, get 25% off kitchen, but you spent £4,000 on a kitchen. Or 50% off... Right, you have $1,300 yeah. okay. to spend. I would say that that is not watchable. Would you get any other phone? All right, you have thirteen hundred dollars. Um, what else? I'll just show another website, BBC. Yeah. So the text is fine, and you can make out if you recognise people. Like, say, I can recognise a lot of these sports people, etc. Uh, I can recognise Trump just from the image, but it's not really that important to me to actually see those images in high in in high quality. Uh, one thing that is very good on it is newspapers. So if I go to press reader, so I get all these free from my local library. Uh, so I want to look at the Guardian. Read now. Okay, so it's not actually readable in this print view, but whenever you see uh, a story that you're interested, you know you can cycle through them. Uh, how do you do? You can cycle through them, and if you see a story that you like, then clicking on the title actually gives you a really nicely formatted view that's very readable. Um, I happily spent a couple of hours just reading on this yesterday. Um, oh, uh, typing. Uh, don't usually use pages. New document. You can see you do have some issues here, like see where it says new document and cancel. I can't actually visually see that they're buttons, but I just know that they're buttons. And you could tweak that with contrast, etc. settings, but you'd find that you'd get other problems. Now, um, typing is really responsive, no issue at all there. Uh, you can see the cursor, play about that as well. That's how I've got it on these settings, very responsive. Yeah, I suppose that's it. Yeah. Uh, overall, I think it's a really nice monitor. Um, as a quick comparison, uh, here is a um, 
Tab Ultra C, and you see there it's got no lighting on it. It's, the image is very dead. I've got quite a good lamp over the top of it. Now there, uh, I'll move the lamp a bit further away just for the video. You can see how good quality those graphics are compared to um, using an e-ink monitor on OS X and it'll be the same on a PC. Um, so it's not going to replace reading things like graphic novels or illustrated books. Um, turn that back off. And then, um, <coughs> so this is how I've got my Macs up. So you can see it's not distracting at all. That's with the screen on. And whenever I want to flick something over, um, I just press one key. Move it between. And then around the back of the unit, it's um, got this very strange thing here. It's like um, kit from Knight Rider. It's moving light on the back. Um, <coughs> it's fine in a study like this, but if it was in your bedroom, I think it'd be quite irritating. Um, as it comes, the cables are quite messy. So here I need a cable for the monitor light because I don't like built-in front lights, so I didn't get one with that option. Um, and it needs a cable for the um, settings, a USB cable. <laughs> it needs a HDMI cable. Um, I might be able to replace those two with a USB-C, which would be good. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. Um, and on the Mac, I'm using um, one of the Apple video adapters. So I'm just using one USB-C with the HDMI and the USB going into it. The USB is only for the settings, so it's not really that necessary, but at least when you're first using it the first week or so, I imagine you'll probably use the settings quite a lot to try and optimize it to how you like it. Um, yeah, that's it. The Dasung Paperlike Colour Monitor arrived this morning and I've only been using it a few hours. Pretty happy with it so far. I've previously had 13 inch black and white books and Dasung e-ink monitors and this seems a major step up. I'm using it with an M3 MacBook. No flicker issues on my preferred settings. It's built like a tank. Better build quality and looks than I was expecting. I didn't get the front light version because I generally dislike them. With a decent ceiling light, it feels fine to use it without a monitor light. The screen is bigger than I would have preferred. Identical size to my 16-inch MacBook screen would have been ideal for me. I had hoped it would replace my Tab Ultra C for A4 books, example graphic novels and illustrated textbooks. But the Dasung is just not graphically good enough in comparison, as it's not running an OS that's heavily customised for e-ink. My main use cases for it are editing documents, reading web pages, and a bit of coding. All of which it seems great for. Settings I've settled on so far. I'm using the Dasung desktop client. I find it most practical to have my MacBook screen on, but pretty much black so it's not distracting. I use Better Snap Tool to quickly switch windows between the screens, mainly for video content. I've done a bit of optimizing on OS X. First was I changed the desktop so it's still black on the MacBook, but white on the Dasung, and second I changed the Dasung resolution from the native 3200 into 1800 pixels to 1600 into 900, high DPI. I left my 13 inch paper like at work, but it seems about the same. Not in good lighting. In low lighting, the color e-ink displays don't perform as well. probably worse than a dedicated e-ink colour device as there's no e-ink optimization from the source operating system. Mouse lag is about the same for similar quality settings.